Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to my Easy Human Anatomy channel. Today I like to discuss about pudendal nerve. Pudendal nerve is the mixed nerve. It arises from sacral plexus and it is also nerve of perineal region. It gives both sensory and motor supply to perineal. This is the ventral surface of the sacrum. Sacral plexus formed here and from sacral plexus pudendal nerve is arises and after formation it leaves the pelvic cavity. It leaves the pelvic cavity to greater sciatic foramen. It leaves then it related with dorsal aspect of the ischial spine. It is important landmark because gynecologists feel it by pervasional examination and use this landmark to block pudendal nerve because in posterior aspect of this ischial spine pudendal nerve is closely related. After this relation pudendal nerve again enter into the pelvic cavity through laser sciatic foramen and then it enter into the pudendal canal and give a terminal branch dorsal nerve of the penis or dorsal nerve of clitoris. So this is the course of pudendal nerve. It arises from sacral plexus then it leaves pelvic cavity through get sciatic foramen. It related with posterior aspect of the ischial spine. Again, enter into the pelvic cavity through laser sciatic foramen, and then enter into the pudendal canal and give terminal sensory branch, dorsal nerve of the penis or dorsal nerve of the clitoris. Now, I like to discuss about the branches of pudendal nerve. Before that, there is a soft, short review of perineum. This is pelvic outlet, dimensional space. Soft tissue and muscles are covered this region and then we mm, known this region as perineum. So this is dimensional space. This is pelvic outlet and for if we draw a line joining to ischial spine, joining to ischial spine, then it will be urogenital triangle, it is anal triangle. In case female, urogenital triangle contain urethral orifice and vaginal orifice and anal triangle contain anal orifice. In case male, urogenital triangle only contain urethral orifice an anal triangle, anal orifice. Three pair muscle present in superficial parodinal pouch rhythm of perineum. This is issue cavernosus. This is bulbospongiosus. This is superficial transverse perine muscle. And deep to this muscle, deep transverse perine and sphincter urethry muscles are present. In anal triangle, two muscles present, labrador any and coccygeus. So the muscle of the perineum, I repeat, muscle of the perineum again, superficial transverse perineum. This muscle locates superficially, their muscle fiber direction transversely, location transversely, and this is the muscle of the perineum, ischio cavernosus, and this is bulbospongiosus. This is deep transverse perineum, and this is splinter urethry. 
these two muscles form urogenital diaphragm. And in an anal triangle, levator any muscle and coccygeus is these two muscles form pelvic diaphragm. At first, the pudendal nerve give inferior rectal nerve. Inferior rectal nerve is the sense mixed nerve. It gives sensory supply to the skin of the anal orifice and also lower part of the vagina. And it gives motor supply to external anal sphincter. Then perineal nerve. Perineal nerve, it is also mixed nerve. Its sensory name of this sensory branch is posterior scotal branch. In case female, posterior labial branch. It gave sensory supply of the posterior part of the labia majora and in case male, posterior part of the scrotum. And its muscular branch gave motor supply to all muscle of the perineum, all muscle of the perineum except coccygeus. Superficial transverse perine issue, cavernosus, bulbous spongiosus, deep transverse perine, sphincter urethra, laboratory. This muscle is innervated by perineal branch of pudendal nerve, except coccygeus. The last branch of the pudendal nerve is the dorsal nerve of the clitoris, in case female dorsal nerve of the penis in case male. These are the sensory nerve. So, this is all about pudendal nerve. If you like this video, please press the like button and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.